in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. Three, two, TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! <laughs> Hello, and welcome, America and beyond. You know what? Let's just take a moment to celebrate. Let's take a moment for America. This has been a big weekend for our country. We we gained independence. Gained independence again. Again, every year. Fourth of July. Are we going to do it? And we we managed. Thank God. Yeah. Uh, And we won. Soccer, soccer, women. Yeah, women's soccer. Women we beat great. out like every other country that thought they were awesome at soccer because they're like, hey, we call it football. Yeah. We're like, no, it's soccer and we're going to beat you. Yeah, you think you can beat us in World War II? Wrong. You think you can beat us in soccer? Wrong. That's true. So, yeah, uh, he went don't. there. <laughs> we're getting political. This is satire, <laughs> well, folks. What is this show? We're talking the brink. On and the so brink. The, the third thing that's happened for America this weekend is the, the brink. The brink. Second, third, third episode. Third episode. Third it's episode. a perfect three. We just need one more three and then we'll probably win the lottery. Then we just. Uh, we drop our phones on the floor and we just walk off the yeah. set. Yeah, so, that's our that's yeah, new we'll version of mic that, drop. Even yeah. though we have a mic right in front but of these us. These are harder to but drop. Yeah, and also I don't want to have to replace this. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for joining us on this very yes. exciting weekend. My name is Lauren Legrasso. Yes. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm at Lola Loger on Twitter and Instagram, facebookcom Legrasso. And Dave, the beautiful Dave. Thank you. Just wearing a black T-shirt, but sometimes you simple as best. Yeah, it almost looks like it has hints of green from here. I'll be honest with you. Maybe I'm just. Green with envy today oh. of uh, how wonderful you look. Oh, oh stop! <laughs> is it. he a flatterer or what? Come on, what is this team? The best one ever? <laughs> I think so. Um, yes, you can. You know, I'm only 20 people away from a thousand followers on Instagram. So can we please just 20 people? Yeah, help a brother Dave out. Dave Abed, A B E D, not the A V E D or so. Multiple iterations of my last name, uh, but it's A B E D, like a bed. Yep, he, Dave in a bed. Me. Just yes. remember that. Um, and go Blue Dave on Twitter. There you um, go. Enough about us. Enough about well, us. There's never enough about us, but for this. But for this episode, moment, so people don't get enough. angry with us, th- yeah. there is because this episode's called Baghdad My Ass. Shh. Not yeah. That we're swearing. That's the name of the title. That's the name of the title. We would like to clarify. We were gonna say Baghdad My Butt, but it. Uh, it didn't have the same <laughs> ring, and also it. that's not what it's called. No, it's not what it's called. So this episode, it's my favorite so far. Mm-hmm. You, how do you feel about it, Dave? I think uh, I had uh, a good amount of. Laughs. Yeah, uh, I, I, a good re- a laugh a good ratio. Laughs. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 my, as my friends call them, LPDs, laughs per day. My, oh. my LPDs in this one were high. Yeah. And I, Tim Robbins was my favorite in this one. I think he got to do so many fun things with uh, right. the penile pain. The penile pain. Yeah. yeah P squared. The P squared. It's something that's plaguing the our P-P. nation. Yes. Yes. I think that people are afraid to talk about it, but not mm-hmm. after this show. Not after this show. No. It's really opening up the dialogue. Oh, thank God. Thank God. So this show started out with a Talbot, as I have written down here. Yes. And and he's watching Raja shoot golf balls in a closed space. This scene, I felt, was uh, very expositional. Just yes. like nothing, there were really not a lot of jokes in that scene. No. Right? I didn't find it highly funny. It was, I, I was like, Didn't mm. add to my LPD. It didn't, it didn't, we didn't have any LPDs there. Mm-hmm. Um, he had a funny line about the clubs. He wanted his um, better Winston club. I don't golf. I don't either. Um, so I missed, the golf humor was kind of missed on me. Mm-hmm. But just start out the show, obviously setting up the rest of the episode. So he, they let Jack Black go. And yes. they freed him. And to, sent him on a mission. Yes. And we also found out in this part a very important piece of information that he's half-brothers with yes. Zaman, which is the dictator-like ruler. Oh, you know what? I was thinking he was half brothers with the second with Tim Robbins. No, no that, that right. would have been a real twist. <laughs> I have to redo all my notes for a second. Hang on. Uh, okay. No, so yes. he and in this scene they painted it that he hated him. There was a resentment from the time they were Which little. Which we find out is BS. Right. Dun dun dun. dun but dun, we will dun. get to that later. later. Yeah. So what does Jack Black do? The first thing he does is he races over to his little friend Rafi's house. Rafi. Knock 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 hey, on the door. 
guys. Uh, oh, you're eating dinner. Cool. I don't want any. Okay, sure. I'll have some. Right. Favorite joke in that scene was, what does that smell? Oh, it's urine. Yeah. Yeah. I like his delivery on that. I feel like uh, the two main characters on the show are constantly smelling, or three really, because we have Zeke, who's like covered with puke and um, probably the smells of excrements from the guy behind him and yeah. just in the prison cell. Then we have uh, a Larson, who is getting told to pack deodorant, so now I'm getting the feeling that he just always smells. He smells probably like alcohol. He's yeah, like sweating. alcohol. Yeah. yeah, and maybe like urine as well, because he's, he's got, got that problem. issue going yeah. on, the penile issues. You know, you bring up a good point, because last episode they had the, the phone and it fell in the urinal. Mm -hmm. The urine is a huge part of this show. Might we say that it's another main character? We might. I thought you maybe were going to find another <laughs> something funnier to say. Than that. No, no, I Why didn't actually. Pun, that was as good I know, as I could fine. do. Yeah, Thank I was you. Like, well, she's going to have a pee pod here that I don't even know <laughs> pee about. Pee pod, like a, a pee pod. pod. Yeah, it's like a pee pod. Another pee pee. <laughs> uh, a lot of pee pees, just yeah. like in the, this episode. Yes. Large pee pees. Really highbrow. Yeah, really highbrow. <laughs> um, so he goes to the, yes, as you said, mm -hmm. uh, the house. He eats some food. Uh, and tells him that he needs their help once again. He needs to be dressed not like a, an American, basically. Can but he was already not dressed like an American. Yeah. He was, dry, well, like, he was he dressed was, like, in like um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory's grandparents' bed clothes, basically. Wow, that's a throwback. Yeah, but possibly it, TBT correct. Yeah, TV, on a Sunday. Throwback Sunday, mm -hmm. TBS. Um, <laughs> Uh, now, remind me, I always forget, why does his family want to help Jack Black when he basically ruined everything for them? I think they're just good people who don't learn the lesson. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Yep. Okay. Great. <laughs> yeah. I, I wrote that down. The, the, I think the difficult thing, thing with this show is you constantly have to say, oh, okay, yeah, it's a comedy. Yeah. Like, oh, I can't judge that this is stupid or ridiculous or far-fetched because... I do that a lot with shows. I think I take things way too seriously. I know. Yeah. Uh, is, are you agreeing with me doing that or do you do that as well? I find not normally, like we were talking about Veep before, and mm -hmm. I think Veep, I'm totally able to just not look at that at all like a real show. Right, because it's so over the edge. Yes. I think this one teeters a it little teeters. bit more on reality. It, I think it's 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 tough, and I think that could be the like the deciding factor for if this show takes off, if people right. can really handle thinking and laughing at the same time. Mm -hmm. That is a great point. Thank you. It's true, because it does jump around a lot as yeah. well. So you can't just be sitting there trying to enjoy something, flatlining, like you're watching an episode of The Bachelorette. Right. Yeah, it, you, you have to have actually to... be engaged with this show. And because you believe the characters are doing a good job. So mm -hmm. there's like little moments where you're like, oh, this is something political. or you know, And then right. you have to pull back immediately. So, But then there's a moment like when Jack Black, a.k.a. Talbot, was on the bus with Rafi, and he <laughs> Shakira. was like, Shakira, Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> so you're taken into those moments too so it's kind of a you're you're taken everywhere it's a roller coaster it's a to be roller honest coaster, coaster of verbiage verbiage of, of, well, yes, let me get the verbiage uh, late 1990s pop stars uh -huh. um but <laughs> yes that's and i thought uh jack black you know what jack black is great at is eye, eye acting he just does so much with his he's always like jutting his eyes around that's a good or impression. squinting or like sweating or looking i think he's just such an yeah. eye actor yeah i just thought because I, I they I, need to teach that in school i don't think we got that in our uh, you education know, I, I try to up for the eye acting class and it was full. Yeah. yeah. it's. I mean, because it's such a rare skill to have. If you could put it on your special skill section, you could really book a job. I have good hugs on my special skills, but yes. uh, eye acting, uh, you know, I couldn't get in the You're class. You're lacking yeah, in I'm that lacking area. Yeah, I'm lacking there. But Jack Black isn't. No. Because I think he does a really great job on this show. It's not... So like the sheer care line is written funny, but there's a lot of this show that the writing isn't necessarily funny. It's situational funny. Mm -hmm. Like this is a funny, and it's very subtle. A lot of these actors, what they're doing, but they bring. It could be a, like a weird drama. So some of the scenes, but they're right. able to find the comedy just through the little subtleties. And I think that in this episode, the reason why I liked it more is it's finally getting its voice, and I'm on board with yeah. where it, where it's going. Yes. You know? Yeah, and I think we're starting to love the characters more. Mm -hmm. and, when, and Tim Robbins, I was saying before we uh, started that he's. Uh, uh, I think he got to have a lot of fun this episode. Right. And we'll get to some of that later on. Um, let's see. Where did we leave off? We're at the so, uh, we're at the bus. We're at the bus. And then about now, to get off. Now yeah. they're zigzagging through the marketplace and right. trying to get to the embassy because he doesn't want to die. He doesn't want to die. Yes. So we get into the office. People aren't treating him weird. They're just like, where have you been? Like, it's a, just another time that he's wandered off. He's done this before, it yes. seems. Yes, yes. So. Yeah, I found that strange, too, because I was like, well, how much time passed? Did we, what, a day? Yes. I have literally no idea. Right. Literally Because no they idea. didn't 
ever mention that. No, no time. I, I would say at least a few days because he's gone from the torture chambers yes. to the confessional room to what seemed like Raja's house. Yes, his vacation home of yeah. some kind. Yeah, where he puts golf balls. Where he the slices. Wall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So everybody hates him there, which we knew. Yeah. Jack Black obviously is a character that's like a buffoon, the buffoon mm-hmm. character. Um, but then he has to figure out how to get... Do we remember... What's the, uh, the ambassador's name? Do we remember his character name? Don't remember his name. I just, I, let's call I'm him ambassador. Right ambassador. Is, is he even an ambassador, though? He is. He is. Yeah. Okay. So he... But first, in order to do that, Rafi, he's dragged him along with him on this mission. Yes. So he tells Rafi that if they don't help... If if he doesn't help, that the not only will, will they die. kill Alex, but they will kill Rafi and his whole family, which that isn't real, correct? No, that is real. It, did they say that to yes, him? Yes, yes, they said that in that first scene. He's like, not only if you don't help me, I will kill you, but I will kill your friend and his whole family. Okay, so that's true. Yes. All right, I thought he was using that as a device. Good to know. His name's Robert Kittredge, the ambassador guy that we're trying to think of. Is Just that the, the actor? IMD, IMDb. Nope, John Laroquette wow. from Stripes. Right? Do you remember him from Stripes? I don't. Too young for. Stripes? Maybe. I don't know. Mm. Probably Your not. Your parents didn't have you watch Bill Murray movies? We're going to talk about that later, parents. <laughs> in the room. Um, okay, where were we? Yes. So he's going to kill his whole family. So he has mm-hmm. to help. So he's the driver. So they go through everything. And lo and behold, the number is written down on a Maxim magazine. So Love he's that. looking for Larson's number. So he's like, okay, great. Now we have to get into the, the ambassador's office so we can make this call on a secure line. The ambassador is not having it. No. He hates Alex Talbot. Hates him. Hates him with a bloody, fiery passion. Yeah. And this guy is like off his rocker even more than we knew because he is an evangelical Christian and he's excited for the apocalypse. Yes. I I, I think what's also showing up more in each episode is uh, how, how each character is a stereotype of a certain type of real political figure, mm-hmm. right? Like, obviously, he's not one political figure, but he's like a Ted Cruz mixed with some other crazy evangelicals. So it's, uh, you can tell he's a satire of that sect, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and then so they go and they use that against him with the secretary. Right. Yeah. So remember in that one scene where Rafi went and kind of plead for Jack Black's life, Talbot's life? Yes. The woman was there, his secretary was there, and she seemed pretty normal. So Rafi remembered her. They made mm-hmm. eye contact mm-hmm. and they honed in on that situation. Mm-hmm. So went and talked to her and appealed to her sensible side. Yeah, she was, uh, you know, didn't want to go for it at first. No, she wanted her job. She wants her job. And she said, even if the apocalypse happens and she has to go to the good heaven and not the bad hell, she still wants to keep her job. She just wants that job. Yeah. Uh, good for her. Yeah. I, I felt like that was possibly a comment on uh, working America and like being complacent in the job you have, even if you're working for a crazy person. Yes, no matter heaven or hell, I just need a job. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's uh, very true. Yeah, got to get that health care. I mean, hey, we live in Hollywood. Our jobs are few and far between. Yeah. We have to keep going. I mean, we Begging both live in scraps. boxes we do. next to each other. But, but we've talked about it. It's a beautiful view. Oh, my God. And I have one of those great Sears boxes. You uh, just can't get those anywhere now. No. No. Barely sogs it's, up in the rain. It's decoration, really. Yeah. 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 Um, but we, diver- we, we diverse. We diver- digress. We are diverse. but We, we are. We're so we, diverse we're right, so Yeah. Uh, but we digress. <laughs> we do. So, finally, the secretary says, okay, go ahead. But if you get yes. in trouble, it's on you. Yes. Pull the blinds. Shut the door. Tell it calls Larson and gets a hold of him. Yeah, well, she gives him. So they had to get. I, they had they, five minutes because he was eating lunch on the third the floor. Second, yeah, third or floor. Top floor. And the, yeah, these are one of those moments that like only happens in comedy, right? Where mm-hmm. you're thinking like, are they really going to get into the ambassador secure line to call the secretary of state? But in comedy, yes, they do. Yes, it's they very do. Easy. Yeah. Um, and it goes well. The, and the code word was two blondes or something like that. Remember, he was two like, Asian blondes. Two Asian blondes. Yeah. Which He's like, oh, exist. I like that guy. Give me the phone. Right. So he gets on the phone with him. Do you remember, was that a reference to something? Yeah, because he had been basically his um, his pimp. Like, he had gotten him That's prostitutes. Right. Yeah. Okay, yes. I had forgotten that part. Okay, yep. he was the prostitute guy. He's a prostitute liaison. Okay. So he remembered him, got on the phone with him, and he realized that he did actually have this connection to yes. Raja. So they started talking. Then the ambassador walks back in, yes. starts flipping, tells well, him he's going to get deported. Yes, and let's remember that the biggest problem that they had was to get uh, the Augusta uh, season pass golf thing. That Right, that, that was, was like, hilarious. That was a rule of three, right? <laughs> it was like, oh, nuclear something, something else. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Augusta, pass. No way. Yeah, it's going to be way too hard. I'll see what I can Pull do. Pull some strings. And all the while, Tim Robbins is laying there with urinary penile pain. Urinary penile pain. Yes. U-P-P. U, it's uh, different it's, from the U-P. Which yeah, is I was Michigan. just thinking of that. U first. <laughs> a? Um, 
You, we could they call us trolls because we're under the bridge. You know, what are there? there's seven people up there. You I know. know. Oh, it, we've just offended the whole the Upper whole, Peninsula. There's no, I guarantee there's not one UP person listening. But oh, my if gosh. You are, if you are, shout out to yeah, us. We love us. you. We love you. You per bars are delicious. Uh, I stayed in a cabin once there. I had no door on it. Um, so they're not big believers in doors. No, breezy. Breezy, breezy, breezy folks. Yeah, there's like a, it's like us women wearing skirts, but his house with no doors. Exactly. Both feel lots of breezes. Absolutely. We digress. We do. Um, People so, that... Um, are in this office are not feeling any breezes. They're feeling the heat. They're feeling big heat. Big heat. Um, and then, oh, so then, yeah, so Kittredge is basically told to F off by Tim Robbins. Mm -hmm. He's says, like, I need to talk guy. to this guy. You let him stay by this phone. And he says, uh, or Talbot's like trying to basically negotiate for a job. He's like, just hold off on that. Stay by the phone. If you help me, we'll talk. Right. So that's how Alex's storyline That was his ends. bam. Beginning Wrapped end. up. Yes. Wrapped up. And with that being said, let's get a little bit to Talbot and talk about this penile dysfunction. We're, ta we're going Tim Robbins. We've, we've touched on we've, so much. Well, we're always touching it. Yeah. Um, circling it. Circling at the urine. So let's see. We start with him um, walking in on his wife. That's basically the first one. Uh, let's see what I That's have. It's Larson and his aide. She's telling to pack deodorant, and then he walks on, in on his wife having sex with Billy. I did see the penis in this episode. I know you guys were horrified that I missed it last episode because it was yes. so apparent. But I mean, I don't know if, I was if you horrified. well, I mean, shocked. Let's mm -hmm. say shocked, shocked sure, that sure. my eyes didn't view it. Uh -huh. I just saw his butt. You're looking at the butt. Yeah. But if you missed it in this episode, you were blind Elephant as bad. Elephant trunk. Helen Keller could have seen it. Coming. Yes. Yo, good one. <laughs> yes. Uh, obviously, still half the size of mine, but uh, still impressive. Uh, you know what I yeah, mean? Uh, yeah. Very. Uh, I mean, we were commenting. We talked a little bit about this before the show. How it got flaccid so quickly. Right. I don't think that's something they adequately explained during the show. No. And we were saying probably if it filled up with blood, he would have passed out. Right. Or severely injured. Yeah. Um, or he might have just hit Mrs. himself Larson. in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Which. Is it's just, just flapping all that around. That happened to me once. Had a huge black stain on my eye. Oh, you From my thing. own, not from somebody else's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. I don't want to give the wrong impression. <laughs> um, so he has a flaccid peen. It's out in the open. And it's huge. It's huge. You, you pull the elephant light truck on. It doesn't come on. Like Breakfast Club. You pull mm -hmm. the trunk and the light doesn't come on. Um, but and they're okay with it. And we also almost saw the other girl's boobs, but they didn't let us see Almost. It. Yeah. You know, this quick, is... Quick, quick... Uh, N no nip boob. slip. No, no side boob. Yeah. yeah. You know, maybe this show is really progressive for women. They just showed a penis, yeah. but no boob? Yeah, about damn time. HBO? Thank what you. What am I watching, HBO? Am I watching OWN? Penis BO. Penis That's what they're going to change it to. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're penis not going to change that. But no. hey, listen. PBO. About time. Equal rights, baby. We're I guess. Take a step in the right direction. But it's not as fun. I mean, do you, do you, I mean, is it as fun to see a huge penis? Don't you? Wouldn't you it's rather see two breasts? I mean, no, it's played okay. out. Breasts you, are played. I, I can see them whenever I want. Each has her own breasts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a penis, you, you know, that's a rare, that's a rare jewel. It so is. it was, it was an interesting thing to see. But what was even more interesting than that was the fact that reaction. Larson was unfazed. He's he was like, like oh, oh god, that thing's huge. All like, right, have you seen the thing with the three tongs, the yeah. tie? And she's like, what? Well, uh, what? So this made me even happier for their relationship, yes. though, because I was so worried in that first episode, like, oh, he's got a wife, that poor thing, and to know that she's getting her own and he knows it, and they're both on the same page. Whatever you do, cool, as long as you're both okay with it. Yes. Well, and uh, interesting, uh, you know, I take some, I do take some comedy classes and those things, and they say, you know, so important for in uh, in uh, in shows that the man never be if the guy is too like ever sees too overpowering to the women, then w people go like, ooh, we don't understand what's going. That looks mean, and right. we don't pull for the guys. But if the guy seems like in a either equal or lesser position to the men, then we pull for them. Mm -hmm. That's usually how it is in comedy. So that's how it seems with Tim Robbins. He's like sucking up to his wife. You do whatever you want. So she's obviously seems to have a little bit of the power in the situation. Yeah. It was interesting, too, that right after she hopped off that guy, or he hopped off of her, right. she was like, about that position I'm looking to get. Right. And because, uh, ironically, she was just in a different position, a sexual position. Right. So right. she maybe she just had positions on her mind. She did. Yeah. Uh, we don't know which ones best fit that size of a penis, but that's a different show. That's that a is a different show. show. I don't yeah. think that that guy would fit the position. He seems kind of dense. But That's true. But he has other areas of talent. We don't know. It's abs. His uh, nice abs. It's ab yeah. Exactly. He had good abs. He's a, good, he's a pool boy, right? He's a, yeah, yeah, I think he was. He's a also boy. great at pool cleaning. Yes. But I just thought that was so interesting and so telling that she's that much of a go getter that after she 
hops off of cheating on her husband, she was like to her husband, hey, so can you get me that job because I'm going to get it, whether or right. not you help me. Well, it shows that they are uh, powerful people, powerful thinkers, they're mm-hmm. go-getters, so they belong. It makes us feel like, oh, these people belong together. Yeah, because it makes me happy. they're basically 90% about their careers. We d- we don't know why they're really married yet. I think maybe that'll flush out more as the season goes on because they've shown basically all the be- like. Oh, it, they like they don't divorce. Yeah, so we don't. Maybe know it was why. a power play. It you know, it's like, like an old timey marriage. Get out of it? Just a hot wife. I have no idea. Yet. Yeah, I think time will tell. Maybe yeah. that's a prediction for us. Okay. Yeah. We didn't, it's not prediction time, but sometimes I just throw them out. Sometimes they come out, and why stifle yourself from the truth? If I was going to stifle my creativity, I would have lived in Nebraska or something. You know, but instead I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Nebraska? Uh, no, I'm sure they're creative people. They're corn huskers. Go yeah. huskers. Yeah. Uh, go blue. This, <clears throat> this nation runs on corn. Uh, that's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully not GMO corn, but really I we're, don't know the We're difference. moving toward non-GMO. Are we? Yeah. Not in this show. Not in this, this show. This show is full GMO. Full G- we're both genetically modified. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it hops to them being in the plane. The plane. And the big plane. Yes. And he's sitting at a desk and uh, he gets a call from the prez. The Presidente. The president, Presentino. Presentino. The Latino president. <laughs> Is he Latino? <laughs> Isn't he? Uh, yeah, he's ethnically ambiguous. Yeah, well, I, I he's guess not, he, like, white. He's not white, yeah. yeah. He, he could be several different things. Probably not black. No, well, he could have like a small percentage in him. You don't know. I had a friend in college who is like 25% African American and she had very light skin. How did you become 25? What? Did she Um, conceive in a force? Her dad was uh, 50% and so she was 25%. Oh, is that how it works? That's how it works. It gets diluted each time? It does. Wow. Yep. Okay. So, anyhow. Uh, he was on the phone with that guy who's his foil. I finally got that guy's name. Let me figure. Oh, the other dude, the yeah. deep voice guy, the, who's from the a show that I can't guy. figure out where he's from. Yeah, let's see, inappropriate plane. Well, whatever. Wait, wait, no, no. it's written down here. It's Pierce, here. that's his name. Pierce. Finally, we figured that out. So Pierce is in there listening into this phone call, and they're basically trying to get out of Larson what he's actually found out from Raja. Right. And since he's found out nothing, he's spinning it and spinning it and spinning it and like we'll talk about it later, we'll talk about it later. And they're playing that fun game of they both have somebody else that they're talking to but they're pretending they're not so there's this fun banter on each side of the phone and mm-hmm. there's Tim Robbins trying to figure out what the heck is going on from his secretary. She's just making weird motions. And the other guy's sign basically language. sign language. We're looking. Uh, and then the other guy's basically saying F Tim Robbins up Tim Robbins all the time. Yep. They, they hate each other. They hate each Which other. Which is fun. It is fun. I kind of do like their like brief moments of F use. Yeah, I can't wait to figure out where the instigating moment was for them to feel Yeah, that I don't angry. know when that'll come. But we'll cover that in predictions. We will. I don't want to give out too We're many We're really predictions getting right ahead now. of ourselves. Yeah, okay. So anyway, this conversation ends very conveniently with him having the pain. The pain Pass below. Out pain. Yeah. Pass out pain. You know, oh, but we also did not talk about the fact that he is already having sex with the translation girl. Oh, right. So she came in with her hair a hair little She had the sex her, hair and she had her, oh, her mammaries. blouse unbuttoned. Yeah, her, her mammaries, mammaries were, were revealed. And yeah. the skirt in the back was took, a little bit unzipped. Took no time at all for him to just go for it. Right. It was a rookie move. We had a small spill, folks. Don't There's you worry about it. And, you know, they happen. This even, is These kind of things happen on Jimmy Fallon. Um, yeah, whatever, David all Letterman. the most professional shows in America yes. and beyond. Um, but uh, I was interesting that Tim Robbins uh, sometimes he's just standing there and then he has jolting pain, which makes me think, what does that pain come from? Did did some like urine just come out of his little peen at some point? Um, I think. Well, I don't know. Kidney stones are apparently ridiculously... Is that what he has? Yeah, they said it was kidney stones. So I've heard that it's more painful than childbirth from some people who have had children. So So when he has those moments, is he passing one? He could be in the the mode of passing one. It could be like halfway through. It could be on its voyage out through the urethra. Yes, like halfway down the shaft. Right. Okay. And I do I do know people have been known to pass out because the pain is so great. Yeah, I had a boss once that said the only comfortable position was in in his driveway on the pavement. For some reason, like that position. That's so weird. So he would just like lay out there at three in the morning because he was in so much pain and that was the only place that brought him comfort. How did he figure that out? I, uh, he was an interesting man. Well, I don't I'll know. I'll say. But now. 
now, now, now women know, listen, we have to go through a lot. To oh, be men. yeah, you put you know, things. It's, oh, we have to build houses, kill bears, and pass kidney stones. Those, Those are, are all things you main... probably do on a daily basis. I did kill two bears today uh, because I was in the UP, <laughs> and that's where you find them. Shout out to our youpers out there. Shout out. We love um, you guys. So, But, yes, uh, with the Tim Robbins, I thought that scene, I, I just watched that scene and thought, like, I think this is why he took this role. You right. know, he's just having so much fun with it. He gets to be drunk and in pain and, like, a dick and just, like, he gets to play so many different fun attributes in yeah. each scene. Like, yeah, he really and he's in to... fetal position for most of this episode, just yeah. writhing around on the floor yeah. like a baby. Yeah, there's nothing he can't do, like a little baby. <laughs> like a baby who's passing Wait. a kidney stone. Right. Oh, God, what if babies got kidney stones? Oh, that'd be terrible because they would just cry all the time and, and anyway. be in so much pain. Yeah, not, but not be able to express it, and then you would not know what's going on because babies cry anyway. It'd I'm going to write a, a children's thing. book about babies with kidney stones and see how that does. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like it's it do not really a topic poorly. That's been explored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it hasn't been explored. Yeah, so. you know what? They have rights too. <laughs> I don't think that's been established. No, that's the next crusade in America. Yeah, baby rights. <laughs> We're gonna start that. Babies with kidney stones. <laughs> Hashtag baby rights, guys. Yeah, start I'm just it. gonna have a big stone and then a baby on it. And it's not saying, but people are gonna think we want a stone baby. Yeah, let's just, let's cancel that out there because we love babies. We here. love babies. So anyway, he is in fetal position on the floor of this plane. Might not be as good as a pavement feel. Right. But he's on the floor of this plane. <laughs> right. And he's just trying to get out of the pain, and that's when he gets the call. So as we said. This is what happens. They have this phone call, and he's really excited because he finally has this information about Raja, who he's been trying to get a hold of the whole episode. And the president just says, yes. Yes. To the reaction. Yes. Good job. Right. We're, We're so happy for you. Let's do the whole episode whispering. Oh, my gosh. People will so so write us really hateful comments this is on so YouTube. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. Quick break. <laughs> Did you like that? Was yeah. it sensual? Yeah, it was sensual for me. <laughs> me too. Um, so, so now Zeke. Zeke. Zeke Ezekiel. Uh, so things were looking bleak for Mr. Zeke. Oh, I didn't. I, yeah, I know you had that rapping career. Um, I did. It so was it's huge. starting and it just ended. Yep, but, yeah. But yeah, it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. lasted. 15 minutes. Uh, Zeke uh, became kind of an unlikable guy in this episode, right? Yeah. He was definitely going into porn stash mode as we know him from Orange is the New Black. Right. Yeah. I mean, he's got to stop impregnating slash fake impregnating women on these shows. So he has... Is anyone really pregnant? That girl's really pregnant. The hot so on one. this show, yeah, every girl who's had a child of his or is about to have a child of his, it's been his DNA so far as okay. we know. Okay, yes. Um, so the hot girl, yeah, as the you call one. her, I think, yeah. what was her name? I wrote mm. it down. Gail, I want to say. This just sounds like a generic woman's yeah. name. Yeah. Uh, uh, Gail, yeah. yeah okay. So Gail tells him that she's going to have the baby on her own because he just got locked up behind bars. And she's like, you're not a suitable father right now. And so he's just sitting in there with his doofus co-pilot awaiting their trial. Yeah, and, I mean, and that conversation was harsh on his part. He was like, yeah, oh, yeah, you're going to go out and I'm not going to be able to see my kid cool. Could you throw away my pills? Yeah. Please. So really, yeah. It's like a, you're just he, the worst. He just he kind of became the worst mm -hmm. in a funny way, but the worst. A funny way, yeah. yeah but like if, if you had to deal with that situation in real life. Yeah. God. You uh, would really, I, poor Gail's probably really questioning her choices at this point. Yes. Again, with her reaction, you know, if it's a drama, her reaction is like, what the hell kind of person are you? Yeah. But in the comedy, she's just like, great dad of the year. Yeah. Done. She's like, see you later. And he's like, can I come never. out of the corner, the friend? And he's like, no. No, he needs to stay, stay. in that corner. Right. That, that man's trouble. Yeah. So they're taken into their trial after that. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is the choice because we were like, how does Zeke get out of this? How yes. does he become a this main part character? Was cray cray. I think this was very commenty on American politics as well. Yeah. Right? Sweep it under the rug. I got my sweeper, it's a Swiffer, and I just put it right under there, like yeah. in the trash. That's what they did. <laughs> yeah, Swiffers supposedly pick up more, and they were trying to pick up a whole lot. Yeah, they were, they, and Zika took him a while to get with it. Mm -hmm. He's like, what? No, He was I still trying it. to be truthful, and that moment I actually liked him, because right. I'm like, oh, okay, he's trying to come clean. And, he's already you know. accepted his fate. Yeah, but and they're like, no, They're like, no, this never out. happened. There was no drone. Mm-hmm. There was, yes, your missile didn't hit anything because we don't want to start this international war. Mm -hmm. I was like, that probably does happen in real probably life. Probably a lot. There's so much I bet you we don't know about American politics. I think I know everything, but I, a lot of people don't. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's the Michigan difference, yeah, it's I guess. Michigan difference. You know, when you graduate from uh, U of M, you know most things. Yeah. MSU, it's different, but yeah, U of right. M. Um, 
you know, it's just the difference. Anyway, so uh, pretension, pretension, pretension. <laughs> did you go to MSU as well? I did. You did. It's yeah. a family thing. We we went to rival schools. For those of you that don't know, we're both from Michigan, but uh, yes, you know, there's a lot of rivalry, but we can get along because we both have that Michigan connection. When you're away from Michigan, or if it's not on a game day, mm-hmm. it's really the it's same. fine because yeah. it's like we all come from the same place. We all have, and you know, here we are just living in the world. Yeah, as trying people. to make it. Yeah, I mean, just like these people on the show, like Zeke. He's just trying to live a life as yeah. a tall pilot. A tall pilot yeah. who is a drug dealer. Right. And Which so, is a shout back to his days on The Wire. Yes. Yes. Hello, Wire. Hello. I'm shouting to you. Yes. So he walks out of there, and then the guy who has apparently um, been taking a tab on his pee. Yes. <laughs> Again, back to the pee situation. So much urine. So much urine in yeah. this show. On the brink of peeing. On the brink of peeing, slash you already did it. Yeah. Uh, says that his urine analysis came back perfectly. So is that because he wants drugs still? Yes. Or That's is it my interpretation. That that they also don't want it getting out leaked that a pilot had a dirty test. Leaked. I didn't even know. <laughs> I, I know. I just I'm just so natural. An intentional pun. Yeah. Uh yes, uh, I think that it was both probably. Probably both. But I think that he, that guy was more interested in the drugs than Obviously. covering up for the country because yes. he slipped in that little drug dig. Yeah, and so then Zeke had to go back to both women again. Mm-hmm. So he saw this as his opportunity from Jesus to, like, mm-hmm. not really, but his opportunity, like, the universe is telling him this it is your time. Jesus. We don't know his backstory. Yeah, we don't know his backstory. Yeah. We don't know what he believes right. in. Right. But he says that he's going to quit taking you know, crap Drugs. from the world. Right. And he's going to start basically using people even more than he already has. Yeah, so he has two, like, really convincing chats with two ladies. Mm-hmm. So he's he's promised himself to two different women. Mm-hmm. Uh, which and it I, we've seems all like... Uh, yeah, absolutely. Me I too. Mean, come on. So many times. Yeah, I know. Just and then, kidding. because you're like, I don't know what I want, so yeah. I'm going to have everything. Right. Uh, but it's especially dirty because these women both have children with him or are about to have children right. with him. And he's, it seems like he's convincing this girl, Ashley, that he's talking to when she's at the wedding to help him sell drugs. Did you get that as well? Yes. So um, that is bad. Well, <laughs> she's going to like, put together a shipment. That's what the quote was. Well, there's the blonde-headed girl that was talking on the phone from the wedding. Mm-hmm. That's the girl that supplies the drugs. Right. And then so what and then the other the military woman, uh Gail, mm-hmm. what purpose does she serve with for him? He wanted her to not flush the the drugs down the toilet. Like he was hoping I think that she would say, I saved them or right. I didn't flush but them she, down the he toilet. He has no like other reason to be using her right no. now. No. Okay. She's just hot and has As far pregnant. as I can tell. But we'll yeah. figure it out. Hot yeah. pregnant woman. Yeah, which I love. Yes. Yeah, that's Can't what I get look for at the bar. I go for the hot pregnant bars. <laughs> So that's basically the end of Zeke's ep- episode. We didn't see anything yeah, else. Yeah, so he kind of right? became a bad guy a little yeah. bit. He, uh, he, he gave into his uh, his more douchey nature. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that was it for him. That was it for him. So the episode ends in a really interesting way. Yep. We see Zaman and Raja sitting together, and we thought these two were enemies. And that they are working against each other. Right, because he was like, look how stupid he looks on a horse. Mm-hmm. And they are playing these guys. They're play- Well, because yeah, if they weren't, the show would be over after next episode. Yeah, because If they want them. ten seasons, these guys have to keep going. Yeah. There has to be a crisis. There has to be a brink. So we know that, uh, that we're still on the brink. We're still on the brink. there are going to be any deals. Mm-hmm. Um, They're basically just trying to distract them so that they can get the real plan going. Exactly, Which and we don't really know what that is. We don't know what it is yet. But something not good for the United States. And this is all in our, what country are Pakistan. we in? Pakistan. Pakistan. Mm-hmm. That's right. So this is we're going to war with Pakistan. Mm-hmm. Are we going to war with any other countries? And they said China's uh, uh, increasing their border troop movement. Well, we they? for sure know Pakistan and anyone who's their allies. It's safe to assume that we'll be going against them and vice versa for us. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, wow, so lots to come. Lots to come. Any other overall thoughts for you on this episode? I mean, I think we pretty much hit everything. I, this is definitely my favorite episode. I think, again, the show is finding its voice. The characters are becoming more and more fleshed out. And I'm excited to see where it goes. I hope it keeps going in this way that's comedic. Because I think the first two episodes kind of lacked in some of the punchiness that I was hoping for. I think still it does. Yeah. I, like, I, I, I think this show still doesn't quite know. It's, it's definitely not like a multi-sitcom. No. But it's like also like it's a little, I don't know. It's, it's not like Veep, like what we were talking yeah, about Yeah, it's not earlier. like Veep. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like single cam comedy, but it's not like three jokes per page or anything. Like, like there's no. no scenes that aren't really like funny. 
Because the issues are so serious. Right. I think they're learning how to talk about them with levity while still getting to the serious issues, which is a very difficult thing to do. I mean, they did undertake, and we talked yeah. about this last week, they undertook something that's tough, and we don't know I, I, We don't know if there's ever really been a show that's trying to take on something kind of serious. And, I, like, they really do, unlike Veep, I think, to try to take on things, mm -hmm. and it, it makes you not laugh sometimes. Yeah. Like, I, I, waterboarding I, isn't funny. Right. As uh, <laughs> we saw in The Guardian, they were like, we're sure there's a funny way to do the waterboarding, but the brink didn't find it. Yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't like serious, mm -hmm. but yeah, they. Uh, I think they could. It, the show could still use some punching up. I could use two or three more LPDs. <laughs> yeah, for days. Last for days. In case you're just. Or LPEs. In. Last for episodes. Yes. Yes. I think they'll get there. I think this one is the closest they've gotten, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they'll find their voice. Mm -hmm. Um. So, uh, it's, uh, their voice is a C sharp. <laughs> uh, should we get into predictions? We shall. And now. Your After Buzz TV predictions. Predicts. Predictions. 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 That's dirty. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Um, predictions. I mean. It's hard to predict comedy uh, episodes. Like, well, oh, let me let me dig deep into. I think let's see. I think Tim Robbins' uh, urine problems. Uh, I think he will pass all the kidney stones. Yeah, that would be funny. I think one more episode, perhaps, of full kidney pain, and then mm -hmm. he will go to a hospital, and maybe some hijinks will happen there. Yeah, I hope he doesn't, you know, lose his functions. Yeah. Uh, I, well, we'll always have the other guy if, mm -hmm. if we need some more That's penile. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think he can his, live vicariously through. Yeah. Him. I think his <laughs> wife will take that job, and maybe some more funny things will come out of that. I think so. She's gonna work for Pierce is I think what we decided. Oh, there was a great quote from that. Sorry to circle back, but this one really hit me. It was the thing that made me kind of feel feel feelings. Let wow, me Wow, that's so rare for you. I know. I'm usually a monster. Yeah. Let's see. Um keep, keep talking. I'm gonna find this. You know, as you're doing this, I'm noticing you have really white teeth. You do a great job with oh, your teeth brushing. Do you, you not so drink much. much coffee? I drink coffee every mm, single day actually. It's my laser. Favorite. I've been trying teeth whitening lately. Mm, get makes them sensitive. Okay, well I'm just gonna say basically what it was because I don't I can't find it right, at this moment. Oh wait, here it is. Okay. Here it is. Okay. The inside changes you. You don't change the inside. Right. That, my friends, is called deep. <laughs> You know, uh, true story, my mom was a state congressman in Michigan. Really? And oh, that's so, so cool. Uh, I know firsthand that, yeah, and I think everybody does go into politics being like, here's my hard line. They go in so green and so hopeful. Yeah, and you, there is so much to work against. Mm -hmm. And so there's a machine that is always going. And I feel I the same way in Hollywood. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. You're like, I'm going to go in and do my own thing. And, and like, and, you know, help people through this entertainment. Yeah. And, like, I'm going to make a difference. I hate the industry, but I'm doing it because I love acting. Acting, but I hate the industry. And I'm not going to play that stories. game. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, you play the game. Like, mm -hmm. what's so bad about Like, you realize you have to play the game in order to get anything done. And that's what they're saying here, and too. And saying. I think that with these two people, more is going to be revealed about their relationship yes. as well. We predicted that earlier, but yeah. just to round it But just to yes, you know, bring back. it back. Yes, to be Circle back. back. Um, so, and then, um, Jack Black, uh, what, uh, what can I say about it? More great eye acting and he'll probably, uh, him and Tim Robbins will probably be more interacting more on the show. Yeah. I hope to see them in the same room at some yeah, point. Yeah, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. they, they're a, a force. Absolutely. Um, I I, that wraps it up. Did right? you did you even have one prediction? Yeah, I had like three. You just missed them because you were so it. busy talking to yourself. I do. Well, I, uh, when they say do a one man show with a co host, it's hard. Oh Couldn't... yeah, right, right, right. This guy. This here. I mean, it's her. You started. I didn't even do episode one, so everybody knows you. The yeah, fan I pulled him in. Yeah, here. Well, we we heard. You have me to thank for your fans. I thank you every night. <laughs> every, yeah, my when four he says fans. his prayers. <laughs> yes, when I say my prayers. Thank you guys so much for thank tuning you. in. We appreciate you. My name is Lauren. Le Grasso, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Lola Logro, Facebook.com slash Lynn Legrasso, and again, the beautiful and highly symmetrical Thank you, Dave. David Abbott, uh, Round Features. Uh, you can catch me every Saturday this month at the Next Door Lounge uh, hosting a murder mystery show. You can find tickets on Groupon, Ooh, that's so if you fun. feel like watching and solving a murder, join us there. I and uh, I have a movie on Amazon or on uh, Amazon Prime called The Republic of Rick. Check that out as well. And give me my last 20 Instagram followers, please. Dave Thank Abbott. you, guys. We appreciate you. And thanks for tuning into the Brink After Show. We love you. We love you. Goodbye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. 
To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only. Do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.